Good morning, closet friends. It's a cold Tuesday morning, and I'm hoping that this week will get a little bit warmer. It's also been a confusing time for anybody who is thinking of traveling or has to travel or possibly is even out of the country at the moment because of all the new restrictions in place. Now, we know that you've got to do a three-day hotel stay upon re-entering Canada by air. But did you know that if you re-enter Canada across the land border, you just need your negative COVID test and you don't need to go to a hotel? Still got to quarantine for 14 days, but get home and then quarantine. And I just wonder how many snowbirds are trapped down there in uh, Florida or uh, Nevada or any of these places they go to Arizona where they're thinking, well, I'm not going to get on a plane to come back. I'm just going to rent a car and drive it across the border and then I can go straight to my house and spend 14 days there quarantining. I don't know. It's a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? It almost seems like air travel is being punished and I, I know it's not. We're all trying very hard to stamp out this virus uh, but it hasn't been easy and I've had loads of questions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pledge that I'm going to keep updating my Facebook, The Travel Lady, with as much information as I get every day and then at least there's something that you can share to your friends and uh, you can kind of spread the word. But in any event, let's be positive and let's look forward to traveling again. I know I am. Somebody said to me the other day, so where would you go if they said you can travel anywhere in the world right now? I was so flummoxed. I couldn't, I couldn't think. It was just, it seems such an impossible dream right now. So I just want to say to everybody, keep your spirits up. Um, I want to travel too, and I'm going to keep you updated as best I can. Have a good week. Bye.